So, because I'm still waiting for fodder for uh, some custom projects I have, let's do another comparison video, this time the Hasbro Genji versus the Figma Genji. And, um, well, this is gonna be a pretty one-sided comparison. It's not even gonna be like a true comparison because, frankly, I gave- this is the Hasbro one right here and this is the Figma one. And um, this figure is a piece of absolute steaming garbage. I hate this figure. So I took the only decent things from him, which are his feet and uh, his head, and I put it on this guy. Currently, this guy is wearing the uh, Hasbro head, but uh, I'll get to that in a minute. Anyway, it's not really a fair comparison either, because this guy is fully repainted. All, like, these of uh, boot... Things here are painted um, light grey, all the muscle, it's labelled as a muscle armour, I guess, is repainted because the original paint was really, it was like a reddish brown, so this is a lot more accurate. All the glowy neon green lights are painted in, and all the silver details and uh, the red details there, and yesterday I spent the evening painting this horrible kanji on his stomach and it was an absolute nightmare but i'm pretty happy with how it turned out so yay well this guy is pretty basic when it comes to articulation you know like he's got hasbro's typical you know everything i don't want to get too much into it um, i want to actually go over and complain about this guy so figma well known for their decent or fantastic articulation so elbows good also, this head isn't really on properly, but that doesn't matter, because we're just going to go with the articulation. So, arms. Okay. All right. Torso, swin swivel, and hinge, swinch. And um, it's... It looks horrible. It's completely detached from the rest of the body. Um, ball and socket down here. It's all right. Originally, it's super loose. I stuffed some, um, like, plastic, like some plastic tissue, I guess, down there, so to make it a little bit stiffer, but uh, these things move for some reason. They don't move in the game. I don't know why they can move, but... No, 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 let's talk about the hips, because the hips, you know, Genji, low stance ninja. Okay, so he can sort of kick out, I mean, a little bit. Actually, that's decent enough if you twist it like that. You see, the issue here are these hip guard pieces. They're just horrible. They... Uh, God, just look at that design, it's awful. Anyway, um, you want to get in, in like a deep, cool ninja pose, right? So, therefore, you want to bend the knees and make him try to balance low. That looks awful. It looks so stupid. And then you try to pose it further and the legs just want to stay straight because these flaps prevent any sort of movement from staying where you want it. And if you like force it down to there, his his hip guard goes all the way up to his chest, and it just looks awful. And good luck trying to make him stand. Okay, so this is the deepest stance you can possibly get from him. It doesn't go anywhere near, you know, a proper ninety degree stance at all. And look, you can just see straight through there. It's, oh God, just crap, crap, crap figure. And, and now this annoying piece fell off. Anyway, don't care. Uh, arms, uh, I, I don't really like how these arms work either. They're, I mean, they allow for quite a, a big amount of movement, I guess, but they just look terrible. And so... So, what I do is I take the head off and I just attach the Figma head on because the Figma head is real good. And we can take a closer look here. So, this is the Figma head and this is the Hasper head. Both of them are pretty good sculpts actually, but the Figma head is just a bit sharper. You see how these things stick out to the side a little bit? 
whereas these go straight out. This one's more accurate, and the paint job is a little bit more clean on the Figma one as well. The sash is debatable which one you like more. This one is a little bit more anime because it goes in a swirly pattern and this one just hangs straight down. But overall, if you want accuracy, this is the one to go for. The detail is also a bit harder because like these screws here are really ill-defined. I had to put a paint wash in there for them to be, for it to be noticeable that they're there. And uh, so, the joint doesn't actually fit 100% on, but there's just enough friction on this joint for it to stick on somewhat snug. You see here, like, it's on. And because of how the head here works, you can get a decent amount of movement because this entire back piece is like a thing. So, you can tighten that up with some um, blue tack or some glue, but yeah, this is the Genji you want, you know, you have free reins on the posing and no annoying hip guard to stand in the way. I also gave him the, um, the hilt of the Figma one because it's a lot more detailed and the blade is from the Hasper figure because I wanted the sword to actually fit into this scabbard. But uh, yeah, just not really a professional comparison or anything. I just wanted to rant about how much I hate that figure over there. So yeah, this is my current Genji. I'm happy with it and um, hope you like the video. It is not too late to change your course, brother. You are mistaken, brother. I am beyond redemption.